works. It says that it's streaming, it says that we're live, and I think that we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty sure, yes, we are. So, in today's episode, I wanted to go over the diligence piece again, or actually more finite, the uh, or more granular, the filters to go through and find hidden gems on Flippa. A lot of DMs came through after the previous two episodes of diligence. If you haven't seen those streams, check those out uh, on the channel because I dive a little bit deeper into what I look for when I'm doing diligence on various different sites on Flippa. So I want to do the filters because that is the option that everyone is presented with. Everyone has the ability to go through and select the type of website, the profit they're looking for, the age, um, you know, whether it's like an established business and really fine tune their filters. And you also have the ability to, uh, you know, save certain searches. So you can really go back and, and check to make sure that uh, new businesses have popped up that met your criteria. So let me make sure that I am logged in first. Let me just sign in. That is not working. We don't need to sign in. That's strange. It booted me off for some reason. But let's go ahead and start our first search here. So entering keywords in, that's a good way of saying like, okay, if you're interested in coupons, for example, it'll populate everything that's tagged with coupons. So let's go ahead and look for a website type monthly profit. Let's put this down to let's say $100 to $5,000. Don't usually do price range. Uh, I don't recommend it because the majority of the time if someone is selling a business, they're going to be trying to get more than what you're imagining they're trying to um, sell it for. So I try not to put minimum or maximum on price ranges when I'm doing searches uh, through the filters. I do think that in some cases, if you're limited by budget, it makes sense to put a max, like let's say 20,000 for here. If you're doing monthly multiples, I mean, 5,000, that's not really going to be obtainable at, at 20K uh, per month in profit at a maximum price range. But I do think that if you have a budget, put that in there. Age, I always like to put an age because if you don't, you get starter sites. And I have covered this on the channel previously, but a starter site is effectively just someone has built out a website that you can purchase and start a business with. So it's like they did the idea and the creation of this business, and then they're just sort of passing it on to you. And then the time remaining, I don't usually do anything here. Many of the investors that I know will want to do something like where it's the last possible minute so that they can, <laughs> they can swoop in um, and get it. The sale type auction classified, that doesn't matter. In my opinion, some people really like doing the uh, classifieds just because the classifieds are usually, in my experience, they're a little bit more, I don't want to say established than other ones, but they are a little bit a higher ticket. Like if you look here on this one, for example, right in the background, uh, you can see that it is a eight-year-old website e-commerce making twenty-six thousand in profit a month, and this is something that you wouldn't want to be just sharing with everyone. Uh, you can share like discount source for wheelchair accessories, medical supplies, and adaptive support equipment. Uh, so you know you can share the slogan, let's say, but a lot of these are more uh, established businesses, I'll say, and very good investments. I mean, I've had great great experiences with the um those different classified so we need to go back to do age i think uh let's set these back let's do five or 2500 and then do a hundred dollars website and age i like to do at least six months or a year we can do six months that's fine all type and include only so reserve is the minimum amount that a buyer will accept buy it now means that you can literally just click a button and buy it now it's usually you know 20 percent higher than what the actual uh, bid is at so or you know what their reserve is at they're they're, they're just going to offer you the ability to just 
end all the conversation, save time, and just swipe it off the table. Verified traffic uh, through AdSense or Google Analytics, whatever it may be. Uh, verified revenue is you know through their PL or through AdSense revenue that they plugged in. Premium and brokered listings. So these are ones that are um, Flippa started doing a actual like premium service. And that if you just go to flippa.com, you'll see the premium service. This is more of on the marketplace side of things, but the premium service is like a very fluid uh, and cleanly designed new version. Um, and that's the open or that's the premium and then status open, sold, unsold. I'm not sure why people want to look for unsold or sold items or assets on here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you would just want it all to be that uh, open, but let's go ahead and search. And it will come up with relatively established sites. Glowy mirror looks like uh, 2,050 per month in net profit, and does an average of 14,000 in monthly sales. So even just off of the bat, you can see if they're making 14k and they're taking 2k in profit, those margins are uh, pretty thin. And it's probably because it's an e-commerce site. Maybe it's some sort of dropshipping site. I'm not going to click through a lot of these because I wanted to cover more. You can see that it's uh, 11 days left and that it, they're asking 35K. So multiplying their monthly profit by a multiple of, let's say, 20, that is within range. So 20 times 2,000 is 40,000. Uh, or wait, no, that's not, uh, 20 times two. Yeah. So we're looking at, um, in, in the range of the 35,000, I think that they're on par with that, but I do think that if you're interested in potentially getting something that is more, more profit margin, cause that can actually scale cause you can take profit and reinvest it. I do think that this is something 35K would go way further with something with a bigger margin um, in it. And let's go through, and you can see that there is some consistency here. When I put the parameters in, you can see that there's actual like uh, amounts here that it makes sense. These, these numbers make sense from the sellers. And that's because we eliminated all of our starter sites with six months. We didn't put a price minimum or maximum because I probably would have put it uh, and this wouldn't have been included in there. The monthly profit is pretty healthy. Uh, so you can see that there's consistency here. This is a good one. Uh, the snuggle looks like it's an e-commerce home and garden. Net profit is 1500 a month. And you can see here that uh, it's a pillow company designed body pillows, side sleepers. And they say the minimum or the reserve is 35,000 and the buy it now, as I said before, is going to be higher than that because you can just get it, get it over with. You can just buy it right out of the gate for 40,000. So an additional 5k to just click one button and, and purchase it. Uh, that's really interesting. 55,000 for 1300 a month. Uh, the confidential ones that is UK based jewelry e-commerce business specializing in jewelry retail purely online DTC. So 90,000 for 1300 in profit. Um, that should be around the 25 K mark at a 20 at a, at a 1300 per month. Um, and a 20 X multiple that's not, um, you can see here that that was the reason why I didn't put a maximum because you need to see the different price ranges. If you were super interested in jewelry and you said, Oh, well, let me talk to the seller. Let me see if I can talk them down. But it, you can already tell that they are way out of whack here uh, with their their actual ask, um, and that's why it's yeah they're 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 going to have a tough time selling at ninety k with thirteen hundred in monthly profit. Uh, DPC spot or DPC spot, yeah, twenty thousand at uh, twelve hundred per month. It's SaaS. The SaaS business provides a simple website builder for direct uh, primary care medical practices and rapidly growing membership based healthcare model. So this is a good, this is 20 X multiple, uh, a little bit less. So I recommend that one. That's pretty nice. I love SaaS businesses because 
They usually come with high quality customers and recurring revenue. So you have a good base there. Uh, this one I actually looked at uh, a couple of days ago, um, water, water marquee. So it, it does freemium web-based software that lets users watermark their photos in their browsers. So this is bidded all the way up to 35,100. Uh, wow. And that's 66 bids and it's $1,177 profit per month. And that is, so this seller is going to get a 35 X or, even higher than that. There's seven days left. So really impressive. They must have robust technology behind this. I, I love seeing that when auctions go really well like that. That's fantastic. Bravo to whoever's selling Watermarky. That's fantastic. Let's see. Base close, 889 per month at the 19,900. So, you know, close enough there. That's a, a pretty good multiple on there. Uh, streetwear apparel print on demand. So that means that basically nothing is held in actual uh, inventory. It's, it's someone comes through, they buy a shirt and it gets printed and shipped from a manufacturer. And there are a lot of Shopify plugins that do this because they're just, you know, they have a massive warehouse with print machines and they're just printing off shirts as they're purchased from their partners through Shopify. So, uh, yeah, that's, you gotta be pretty good at, at, um, advertising and marketing to get into, um, print on demand websites, or you could be just an influencer online and generate a ton of sales that way. This one looks like uh, Phoenix photos. Phoenix photos is the French leader in restoration of damaged photos. So that's pretty cool. Buy it now is 1500. Looks like, uh, this is either the bid that's hit 5,500 or it's just their reserve, uh, which is interesting, but it looks like 625 per month. And at that point, you know, that's, yeah, that's relatively decent. I mean, around the 10 K mark is something that would make sense for that. Get reviewed.org. Get reviewed is an online marketplace connecting bloggers to advertisers. I've actually heard of Get Reviewed, so that's interesting. Let's click on that. Twenty-five thousand at five seventy-five per month in profit. PHP three years ago. Twenty-five thousand reserve is thirty-five thousand. Cool. Yeah. So three years old, five seventy-five a month, um, and the starting price is. Looks like 25,000. So it's way over the multi monthly multiple that I am comfortable with. And I know a lot of other people would not be comfortable with that, but I do think that it is a good, um, yeah, a, a good way of, a, a good way of potentially getting access to both bloggers and advertisers. If you're in the business of any other business of advertisers and bloggers, like if, if they have the database, of both of these, it might even be worth that 25K. So let's go back and it's gonna reset our search here. But what I'm gonna do is, oh no, it didn't reset the search, excellent. So some of these you can see are having like a wide open bid, eight bids at $160, double down promotion, consistent income from advertising with minimum work, advertising and entertainment, $503 in profit, buy it now equals 7,000. Don't know how much I, um, don't know how much I can back that one. That one seems a little bit iffy there without even looking at it. I can see that that one looks a little sketchy. This one, I actually got an email about today and this one is an Amazon based site where they're driving traffic and 70% uh, of the revenue was coming from, I believe it was sponsored posts. 30% was coming from affiliate sales. So you'd have to really double, triple down on the sponsored posts, which requires work. So this is not necessarily um, something that if you're not familiar with getting sponsored posts, that would be something like I mentioned before, buying out something like this to get access to the advertisers and then reaching out to them, doing sponsored posts for them here. There's sponsored posts is a whole different beast uh, when it comes to getting, uh, getting revenue. So affiliate revenue is fantastic 
and I highly recommend people look into Amazon FBA, uh, Fulfilled by Amazon services uh, or stores, I mean, on here, uh, which we're going to look at in another, another episode. This is more like a, a broad how I filter um, and how I recommend people just dive into the filtering on Flippa because you, you need to be able to look past the front page. I know a lot of people just look at the front page for editor's choice and um, the featured businesses on the front page and it's just a feeding frenzy on there but you need to be able to actually dig in because there's thousands of companies on here and a lot of them are really good this is PUBG gaming info site for sale nine months earning is 30k huge potential it's 14 days left with a hundred dollars buy it now is 35k it looks like they're 2300 in net profit uh interesting yeah, that one's uh, intriguing. PowerPoint for starters. Video training business making over 550. So video training businesses are gold um, in a lot of these cases. I've heard of some really successful um, cases here where people have purchased video training uh, businesses via Flippa and just turned ads on and hired contractors to run their ads. So you just need PayPal. All right, that one... That one's interesting. E-commerce, 566 profit per month. Buy it now is extremely low, so that is a little sketchy uh, that it's only buy it now at 1500 If it's making 566 in profit per month, that's a three-month return on investment. That's a little bit iffy, uh, but I do like that URL. That's fantastic. WordPress for starters. Okay, so this is an example. Now you can kind of see that two, two companies for sale we're pro they're probably by the same seller and he or she or they are using the same template here and they're just having low, low buy it nows. So they get you in through the door and they start selling services. So I've, I have seen this happen before many times. So just be, be careful when it comes to this because they're going to, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be multiple of these for starter sites. Like, PowerPoint for starters, and they're really good listings. Like whoever's behind it did a really great job on those. Uh, but you just got to be careful. You just got to be careful because I've I've had multiple conversations with people after I saw listings like this where I was like, whoa, they're way off with their pricing. Like their price points are just completely out of whack here. Uh, like what is going on? <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I would just be very careful with that. Message with them directly, see what's going on, and uh, just be very skeptical when it comes to like a three-month return on investment. That's a little bit sketchy there. So here's another one, Bitcoins for your business. Um, looks like another one, Modern Tweet Marketing. These are all very similar in monthly revenue, and he's saying you just need a PayPal account to start. You can see the similarity here. He's just using the same template, he or she, for they, adding bids to really drive it up and um, have it draw attention because what Flippa does is it, it showcases really active listings and ones that have already met reserves. So I would assume if he'd sold one, then he could really drive up the bids on these other ones. So just something to be aware of. It's not breaking the rules or anything like that, but he is, he, she, or they, or them is... Uh, is definitely hustling uh, to sell these probably starter businesses. Um, and yeah, there's another one, Office 365 for starters. You just need a PayPal account. Uh, this is another one, Azon Affiliate Profits. You just need a PayPal account. And bids are coming in by, I'm assuming it's him or them or someone and driving people to click that buy it now for 1500 1800 and uh, so these all look uh, much different here but just something to be aware of um, you know this is another one email list that secrets and sometimes people do buy these sites um, it just looks like a little sketchy and you just have to be aware of that. You have to know that there are people on here that are just sourcing leads for another business. There are people on here that are, um, you know, they're, 
they're definitely selling starter businesses, which means that you have to start everything on your own, everything from, um, you know, the advertising, basically it's just a drop shipping store or a service business that has everything being outsourced. So you just have to send the traffic, whether it's, you know, your own email list or whatnot, but it's, it's just a, um, I, I do not recommend people do that because there's a lot of room for error when you just take over a starter site from someone. But I know there's a lot of bullish people on starter sites and they hire people because they like the idea that they've come up with the idea and they think that it's been proven. And, um, I have not heard of any success stories with starter sites yet. Could be wrong, but uh, I have not heard of any yet that have crossed my radar of people that have bought starter sites and been like super stoked on the results afterwards. So that's it for my filtering episode here. Um, it's just as simplified as possible so that you guys get a chance. If you're looking for established businesses, I'm going to do another one for, you know, some of these, um, Amazon FBAs. I'll do one for apps as well. I'm not that big on acquiring apps cause you need a developer account. You need consistently to be upgrading and deploying new features. If you want to make some serious money on applications on iOS and Android. So I always go after established websites on here. I've mentioned that multiple times on the channel before. And also I'm, uh, you know, I have a course that you guys can check out in the link below and super discounted course. I mainly just wanted to bring it to people because they all started asking questions. Everyone's been DMing me, asking me about how, how is the diligence done? What do I need to know? How do I do this? So all the links to that will be in the description below, as well as a coupon code to give you 10% off. And that's it for this episode of me doing the filters, walking you through, showing you my thought process around each of these businesses without even clicking into them, without even signing in. I can just quickly, quickly go through these. And some of them deserve to be clicked in through, but I mainly just wanted to show you guys a high, quick, fast, and easy way to go through, high level way of, of going through all these different businesses and diving past the homepage. Make sure that you are always doing more diligence going in past the homepage because they have a huge database. Thousands of companies are sold on here every month. So it's important to, to go in there and check it out. And that's it for this episode. I will see you guys on the